Hello and welcome to Monday Morning Motivation. Thanks for joining me today. Last week I looked at Psalm 1 and verse 1 and we saw that a person is blessed who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, stand in the path of sinners, or sit in the seat of the scornful. I also said that the word blessed has more depth of meaning than mere surface happiness and that while we use it loosely to refer to different things, true blessedness comes from God alone. Now in verse 2, David gives two aspects of what a blessed man looks like. He says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law he meditates day and night. He delights in the law of the Lord. The law of the Lord in this context refers to the Torah, the first five books of the Old Testament, which was all that David had at that time. While the word law is a legal term, we know that it refers to far more than just a set of rules to keep, but rather it refers to the precepts, teachings, instructions, and wisdom of God for our lives. Today we know that the term law really applies to the entire 66 books of the Bible. The Bible is law for us because we hold it to be the absolute word of God, completely truthful and accurate in every respect about everything it upholds. David says that the man who delights in the word of God is blessed. The meaning of the word delight in this verse means the desire to take pleasure in or enjoyment in. Taking pleasure or enjoyment in the word of the Lord causes us to be blessed. This is one of the marked differences between the ungodly and the godly. Your life can be blessed just because you delight in the word of the Lord, because you enjoy reading it, speaking it, and hearing about it. Take pleasure in the word of God because it is life, it is truth, it is power, it is strength, it gives direction, it gives wisdom, it gives knowledge, and it gives understanding. Psalm 119 verse 103 says, How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Wow. But now David continues, He's making a clear definition of what blessedness is and what the blessed man looks like, what he thinks about, what he makes a priority of his life, how he be behaves, what he does, and equally important, who he belongs to. The second thing David said about this man is that he meditates on the law day and night. He meditates on the law of the Lord day and night. The blessed man does not only delight in the law of the Lord, but he also meditates on it. Figuratively, when we say day and night, we mean habitually, constantly, or as we Bajan say, every time you look wrong, this man in the word of God. The word guides his behavior. It governs the way he thinks and he speaks out of it all the time. He meditates on it, not in a way we, we commonly know meditation to be, that of emptying our minds and focusing on some mantra or envisioning it to manifest it. No, this meditation is, is turning the word of God over in your mind, mulling over it, speaking it to yourself and not arguing about it. Meditation from a biblical perspective is really ruminating on the word to slowly chew it, chew on it, ingest it, and then bring it back to mind, applying it and repeating that process throughout the day. David says, he does it day and night. In the good times, when all is well, and especially in the hard, dark, dark times, when you feel overwhelmed, as though you're sinking under the cares of life. God's word is your belt of truth. 
that guards your delicate areas. It is your sword of the spirit to effectively use it in your fight against the enemy. Proverbs 7, 13 commands us to keep his word and treasure his commandments within us to keep his commandments and to live and keep his law as the apple of our eye, to bind them in our, on our fingers and write them on the tablets of our heart. In Deuteronomy chapter six, verse seven to nine, it contains a, a passage of scripture that Jews up to this day take literally. The adult Jewish male at prayer time takes phylacteries or teflin and strap it on their foreheads and on their left hand. Phylacteries are a set of small black leather boxes with leather straps containing scrolls of parchment inscribed with verses of the Torah and they serve to remind those wearing them to keep God's instructions in their heart and mind and to do them at all times. This is what it says in Deuteronomy 6, verse 7 to 9. And you shall teach them diligently to your children and speak to them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as reminders on your heart and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on your doorposts of your houses and on your gates. We, however, we who are saved, we keep the word of the Lord in our hearts. The teachings, the, the precepts, the principles of the word of the Lord, and we meditate upon it and follow and apply it in our lives at all times. So meditate upon the word of the Lord. Meditate on the word to understand it. Meditate on the word to remember it. Meditate on the word to focus on it. Meditate on the word to hide it in your heart. Meditate on the word to let it transform your life. Meditate on the word to live by it. Simply put, let God's word govern every single aspect of your life. Delight in it and take in pleasure in it all day long. Meditate in on it and speaking to yourself every opportunity you get and your life will be blessed amen next week i'll be looking at how the righteous are blessed and contrasting that to the wicked looking closer at the results of a life lived according to the word of god versus one outside of his word so until next monday god willing delight in god's word and meditate on it every day and you will be blessed this has been monday morning motivation please join me again next monday at six o'clock in the morning on facebook and youtube for another devotional have a blessed week